It ought to be evident that one need not come down on any of the multi-sided immigration so-called debates to acknowledge that it is immoral and unethical to take money from some people in order to facilitate the preferred move and resettlement of other people. The taking itself is wrong, regardless of whether some politicians say the intent is noble and regardless of whether the recipient is a citizen or an undocumented migrant, which makes this news from the East Coast that much more immediate and essential. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. And here's the story. On the heels of California Governor Gavin Newsom, the Democrat getting enough pushback from Californians and people around the nation that he just vetoed the state legislation that would have been handing tax-backed home loans of up to $150,000 to undocumented migrants. Well, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has been revealed to be running a money shift scheme that since December has handed migrants at least $600,000 to locate to new digs. That's Eric Adams, who, as we reported in July, once proudly talked about New York being a sanctuary for migrants and then complained about the expenses of said sanctuary status, demanded more federal, meaning our tax cash, and simultaneously expanded a cash debit card system for the ever-growing number of migrants flowing into the Big Apple. That's Adams, who has already admitted the city will spend at least $10 billion in tax cash between 2022 and 2025 to deal with the Biden administration's border policies, dumping thousands of migrants into his streets. The national government should be picking up this tab and it should not be coming out of the backs of everyday New Yorkers. That is wrong and that is what is happening. So. If you'd hate to be a waiter asking him what he wants for dinner and then realizing he'll say virtually anything as he demands someone else pay for the meal, well, you might be on that right emotional track when you see this one. Of course, this is a much larger story than that example. It is real and it's ongoing. Joshua Q. Nelson reports for Fox News, quote, New York City launched a pilot program to help migrants transition out of city shelters by providing them with $4,000 for permanent housing, a city official confirmed to Fox News Digital on Friday. The NYC Department of Homeless Services, DHS, offered 150 families cash assistance through the Asylee Move Out Assistance, AMA, a pilot created in December last year to help find permanent housing for asylum seekers. The pilot was launched in partnership with some city shelters providing services for asylum seekers, end quote. You know, the term partnership often gets an unwarranted pass in contemporary political discourse. In society, separate from government, a partnership is voluntary. When political forces employ the term, it's not a partnership between just the state power and the shelters because, of course, taxpayers are roped into it. And that's called fascism. It's the combination of government and private interests at the expense in cash, opportunity, and freedom of tax-paying civilians. Adds Nelson, quote, DHS officials in December started dispensing $4,000 to 150 households who live in the city's emergency DHS shelters, end quote. That's $600,000 in 10 months. But in fact, it's been less time than that because according to the New York City Department of Social Services DSS bureaucracy, the system only got functioning seven months ago. Quote, 150 households 
have benefited from this pilot over the last seven months, and we look forward to supporting more households as we assess the success of the pilot and feasibility of scaling up and expanding access to this form of assistance. The statement from DSS reads further, Eligibility for the $4,000 grant is solely limited to asylum-seeking families and pregnant women who are residing in select DHS emergency shelters and have already identified permanent housing. There is no city funding allocated for this program, the DSS spokesperson told Fox News Digital. DHS is using money from existing funds within the agency, the DSS spokesperson added, end quote. How is it possible that the city can shell out this money when Adams already has acknowledged that New York doesn't have enough to handle its current expenses? It's almost as if Adams operates in a fantasy world at civilian expense. Nelson reports, quote, the $4,000 would be used to cover security deposits, moving expenses, first and last month rent, and any household necessities. Migrant families who receive the grant are required to document their expenses, end quote. When did you get your living expenses covered in such a way? Uh, did you think you have a right to demand that others cover your security deposits, moving expenses, first and last month's rent and household necessities? Likely, hopefully, you didn't think so and you won't think so if those things pop up. But Adams seems to think that opposing such parasitism is actually the immoral position. He favors the government graft and redistribution of wealth. In fact, Nelson also notes, quote, additionally, families can receive up to $1,000 in gift cards for household necessities and moving expenses, end quote. And as a final reminder, NYC is projected to have spent more than $5 billion over the last two years on the migrant crisis and the expense is estimated to double by 2025, the New York Post reported. Such spending of taxpayer money includes the cost of shelter, food, health care, and education." End quote. As I've noted for MRC-TV, this is a problem that should have nothing to do with any people other than those who want to move, be they from outside the U.S. or native residents or citizens. And it's imperative that Americans understand that there's no constitutionally enumerated so-called power that allows New York to suck like a leech off people in other states in order to facilitate arriving refugees or migrants. Newsom, well, he's backed away from a form of this collectivism, likely because it was politically untenable and only more vocal opposition to its cousin in New York City will stop Adams from continuing this kind of idiocy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Rumble where they don't censor us. And of course, find us anytime at YouTube where sometimes they do censor us. Please share the videos far and wide with people, especially if you're interested in the mixture of history and contemporary breaking stories. You can find us all the time at mrctv.org. That's mrctv.org. Please consider donating while you're there. Check out the MRCTV store and find out what the whole team is doing. And of course, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, TikTok, and X. And if you want to find me on Gab, I'm at Gardner Goldsmith. And on X, I'm at Gard Goldsmith. Thanks for watching, everyone. For MRC-TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.